There are numerous Greek islands unique for its own food, history, culture, beaches, and so on. In this video, let's discuss such great Greek islands that you can visit in 2021. Best Island for Viewpoints – Santorini The crescent-shaped island of Santorini is actually the rim of a volcano that once towered up above the sea. Now, it is a masterpiece of natural and human-made structures. As you approach the port through the broken ring of the caldera, the first thing you'll notice is the deep blue of the waters, the black rock beneath it rising up into the variegated cliff faces speckled with the traditional whitewashed walls of Greek buildings along the top of them. Museums, galleries, volcanic sand beaches, and tours of local winery breweries will fill your hours with satisfied pleasure. Best Honeymoon Destination Island Simi Simi has one of the most picturesque harbors in the country. Crowded with pastel-colored houses, bars, taverns, chic boutiques, and dozens of tiny beaches accessible only by boat. Simi has a simple beauty and radiates a serenity that can make any visitor fall in love with it. Neoclassical houses with roof tiles take you to another era. The afternoon is ideal for a walk on the island as at sunset, the colorful houses are beautifully lit and a very romantic atmosphere is created. You can spend your afternoon in one of the dozens of cafes and taste the wonderful coffee with its unique aromas. Best Island for Exotic Beaches – Kefalonia This is the largest island in the Ionian Sea, and though it has become a popular destination, the island is large enough to seem empty, even when a significant number of people are holidaying there. The area is beautiful, with castles and monasteries that are favorites for photographers as well as charming villages that make a pleasant complement to the bustling port village of Fisgardo. Kefalonia is especially known for its exotic beaches. Myrtos Beach, for example, is a crescent of fine pebbles nestled in a little half-moon bay. Other favorites are Antisamos, Lourdes, and Scala. Best Island for History and Culture? Delos Delos is the birthplace of Apollo, according to mythology. Delos boasts some of the most extensive remains from the Golden Hellenistic Age of Classical Greece. The entire island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, consists of ruins which have been systematically unearthed since 1872, including temples, statues, mosaics, and a theater. It is not possible to stay on the island, visitors arrive by boat from nearby Mykonos. Best Island for Hotels – Mykonos Mykonos is known for excellent resorts and lively parties. If you prefer the former to the latter, visit in May or the first half of June while it is still quiet. Most of the island is crisscrossed with little roads to explore and a trip along the coastline will reveal example after example of hidden little beaches, most with waterside restaurants and many with hotels as well. You will also be able to find the most stylish boutique properties in Mykonos. Wander the marble streets of the capital town Hora and discover purple-flowered Bougainville trees, churches, museums, and even Castle Panigraki. Best Island to Sightsee – Crete The largest Greek island is Crete, rich with beaches, historical sites, hikes, and small cities. Crete's southerly location gives it the longest growing season in Greece, and it produces a surfeit of edible delights you'll even find avocados and bananas. Crete, home to the miniature legend and birthplace of Europe's first evolved society, is a vivid and sensual mosaic of contrasts, from lofty mountains and pink sanded beaches to buzzing nightlife and traditional caffeineons, or coffee houses. The traces of successive invasions can be found in Turkish bathhouses, Venetian fortresses, and Byzantine architecture. Best Island for Peace and Quiet – Skopelos Despite its great beauty and fame it garnered as the shooting location for the hit musical Mamma Mia, Skopelos maintains its traditional feel as authentic Greek culture. This is likely due to the fact that the island is a bit more remote than some of the others, accessed by the ferry from Skiathos rather than by plane. 
The towns of Skopelos and Glossa are everything you would expect from a postcard setting. White buildings roofed with terracotta tiles and punctuated by olive trees hawking their canopies up from the narrow streets and courtyards. They are not overrun with tourists, so don't expect a resort feel, especially from Glossa. They are unspoiled, genuine Greek towns. Best Island for Summer Visits, Parga Parga, though it is a town, gets a special mention here as it is perhaps the most popular summer spot in Greece and has that distinct island feel to it. It is secluded from urban centers, nestled beside three little bays on the Ionian Sea. The shoreline is lined with crescent-shaped beaches, hundreds of sun chairs, and popular hotels. There are tapas bars, restaurants, and resorts to suit every taste for quality and atmosphere. It's easy to see why Parga is so popular. It combines the best of beach lounging, wandering village streets, and stunning spots to eat and enjoy the laid-back charm of Greece. Best Island for a Traditional Experience, Paxos Paxos, or Paxi, is one of the less developed islands, but has a magnetic charm that has visitors returning again and again. It is small, only 7 miles long, and 3 wide, but that's a positive rather than a negative as you can explore the island by car, on foot, by bike, or even boat. Nothing is too far inland. There are seafront cafes that aren't too traditionalist to sell you a cool frap. Local bakeries make bread in wood ovens, but you'll have to stand in line for loaves. And there are numerous restaurants throughout the island, most of them offering delicious traditional Greek cuisine.